Today I'm going to prepare another meal. I will be the one eating this like for yesterday's uh, dinner. I have here, I do not know what is that in English. This is Schweinshaxel, the tail sa baboy. I bought this one yesterday and it cost me 2.29 euros. So it's about a kilo 918 grams today guys I'm going to make this humba I could make this one when the kids are not at home because I will not going to cook two meals for a day because they are not going to eat that and I need to cook another meal for them so since they are their aunt's house so I have the chance to cook this for me and my husband it's not a problem. He is not also going to eat that or anything which is they are not familiar of. I'm going to give him lumpia or hamburger or pizza, whatever he wants. So guys, no further ado, <laughs> I'm going to cook humba. So I have here uh, teel sa baboy. <laughs> I do not know what is that in English. Teel sa baboy. I have here ginger garlic, onion, chilies, and this is a vinegar, and also I have here pineapple pieces, maggi, and also the peppercorn. Okay guys, let's start. I'm going to clean this, and then we are going, I'm going to start to cook. Okay, so guys, I've already cleaned this one, and now I'm going to pre-boil them, because I want to discard all the scums, or whatever you call that. So I'm going to discard that before I'm going to make humba. So guys, here it is. I've already pre-boiled this one so that it's um, what do you call this one? It's cleaned enough. So now I'm going to put the maggi inside for the color. Maggi. And also the guard, uh, onion on all of the ingredients inside and here is my I did not chop that it's not a problem and I'm going to put everything guys everything okay so here I just put everything and now I'm going to put also a little bit of vinegar so this is how I am going to make my humba guys. So I have here rice wine vinegar. If you have any vinegar in hand, it's not a problem. We could use that. And a little bit more maggi. And also I've put here chili, mm, bay leaves, and also I'm going to put the peppercorn, and I'm going to transfer this to my pot. Okay guys, I've already put peppercorn and also a little bit of salt, and now I'm going to put the sugar, just a little bit, half a teaspoon, or a teaspoon, teaspoon. so not much, just to balance the taste. So for my humba, I want my humba a little bit sweet. Okay guys, and now we are going to mix everything. Just mix all of this so that it will be coated. Everything will be coated. And now we are going to transfer this in our pressure cooker. And let's wait for how many hours and then it will be ready to be served. So, okay guys, here it is. I've, I've already put the meat together with the spices and also I've put a little bit of water in order that it will be easier to cook. I will put later my ananas and my pineapple because I'm not going to overcook that. So I'm going to put that later. It is already tender and then I will put my pineapple inside. Okay guys, I'm going to continue cooking and I see you later. Guys, here it is for half an, uh, an, hour, an hour, I guess. So I'm going to put the pineapple.
Okay now guys, I've already put the pineapple inside and then I'm going to wait for how many minutes until it will be all softened, very tender. I want my pumba very tender. So I just leave it like that. It's sweet. <laughs> okay guys, here it is. It's already done. It's very tender already. So as you can see, it's caramelized. It's delicious. Full of deliciousness. I will be the one eating this because as I've said, my family doesn't eat that. And oh, for me, it's delicious. <laughs> This is humba. This is el sababoy ngagi humba. So this is a little bit sweet. So I'm going to eat this one and also the couscous from yesterday. And I have here homemade kimchi and also the tomatoes. And this will be my food. This will be my lunch for today. So let's eat guys. I am already very hungry because it's already 2 o'clock in the afternoon and I haven't eaten my breakfast yet. So this will be my first meal of the day. So let's eat guys. And yesterday's food was very delicious. Today will be another day for deliciousness. <laughs> and next days, the kids will be at home. So I'm going to cook the normal food that the kids will also going to eat. So update you tomorrow what will be the exotic food that I'm going to cook. Okay guys, that's all for now. Bye-bye and see you next time.